Hello. Well, I did forget how long the delay was on this thing, you know. I really did. When I said hello, I'm still waiting for the stream to start on my computer. Do, do, do. That's not that loud, actually. I thought it was going to be louder than that. That's fine. <clears> oh, <throat> are you, Omega? Badoom. Okay. We are here! Oh, I can take them off now. I don't need them on, do I? Shall I leave that random music on in the background, or should I sign it off? Does it not really matter, or...? Yeah, just for shits and giggles, not you know. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm tempted, but at the same time, it caused so much havoc last time, didn't it? Having having us in there. It caused so many arguments and all that sort of stuff, so I'm not sure whether I want to allow that to happen or not, to be honest. Um, yeah... I mean, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool having all you guys in there, but it did just descend into chaos, really, didn't it? I mean, maybe we could just say that I don't care what any of you say. I just do whatever I want to do. Hello, Powerblades. I don't know. It, it was really fun when we did it, I think, but uh, yeah, it did cause a lot of havoc. I suppose, yeah. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, I've had to... It's lucky I, there was a stream uh, labs update, actually, because I completely didn't realise I was on the wrong account. I need to... I've got a fresh account for this, so... We're all good. Yeah, I suppose we could. Well, we'll, we'll just keep an eye out. See if anyone... Um, see if anyone tickles your fancy, new gen, as we go through. Um, I think... I had a little play around with this. I don't think it matters, the first two screens. I think literally, like, what you pick here doesn't matter. Because when you randomise, it does it itself anyway. So, um, we'll just take whatever. Uh, we'll just take this guy. This guy right here. And keep him as his current persona. And then, yeah. When you randomise... The problem is, you have to put the name in first, don't you? Okay, we can come back into the name afterwards, I think. Because we don't know what the name's going to be until we see the person, do we? I mean, I quite like the generic ones, to be honest. I mean, this guy alone could actually work, couldn't he, really? The generic ones alone. Right, so just to make everyone aware, there is a hefty um, delay. So apologies if I don't see your comments straight away. Uh, it's about a 20, 25 second delay, I think. So um, let's just hit random and see what happens. See what we get. See what the game gives us. I did it the other day, and it did give us some interesting... Um, cause when I was playing around with it. Uh, we've got this geezer here who's interesting, I mean, six foot two, 289 pounds. Uh, nothing special, to be honest, nothing special, but um, could be useful. I don't know what we're going to do, I don't know how many we're going to create. I was thinking maybe 16, 20 for now, and then we'll just do a couple of shows and see how that goes, and then we can move on from there. Maybe uh, create a few extra every time we come back on. But yeah, as, as normal, yays and nays in the comments. If you think that we should use this person, let me know. If you don't think we should use this person, uh, let me know and we'll get rid of them. Uh, I mean, I'm seeing no love in the in the comments, so maybe we skip on from this one, I think. We spin on. Read this when you see it out loud. That's, that's how long the delay is, new gen. I'm I'm not ignoring you. That's the problem with this, isn't it? Because I'm. It means that I have to wait like 30 seconds. Well, I'm seeing no no love for this one, so let's spin this on. And we got this guy, six foot eight, 311 pounds. Um. Big ginge. 
I, uh, yeah, he's a weird looking one. He looks a bit Scottish to me. I think attire-wise, maybe take the shirt off during matches, but... Again, what do you guys think? God, the delay is massive. I didn't think it was this long. Forty-three seconds, bloody hell! Um, I am live, aren't I? Yeah. Yep. That is a long old time behind, isn't it? Okay. Uh, what do we think of this one? I mean, there's nothing special, nothing interesting about him, but nothing terrible. Skip this one, okay? Um, this guy's a bit boring looking as well, isn't he, really? Oh, it seems to be quicker now, actually. What do you think on this bad boy? Oh, it's not quicker, it's because I'm looking at my screen rather than the stream. There we go. Yeah, this one looks a little bit, um, yeah, meh. Let me know as soon as you can, obviously, because it's going to take me 40 seconds to actually kick off of him. Oh yeah, the versus thing for the GM mode. It wasn't sort of, um, what I'd do is, is we'd stream like this, and then if you join me on a Discord call, and then I could, um, you could just tell me what to do and I'll do it all for you, then we can keep score, like at the end, we can see who's picked up, like, the most money and the most viewers, or however it's, um... Is measured at the end. I don't know how. I don't. We probably wouldn't do the full thing. We probably just did the shortest one. What is it like? Seventeen weeks or something like that? Is it? I don't know how long that would take if we sim all the matches and just get the overall rewards at the end. Then we're, it won't be take too long, would it? I suppose. I mean, this guy didn't look too bad. Bit basic, but nothing completely out there. He is six foot eight, super heavyweight. He doesn't look like a six foot eight super heavyweight, does he? Okay, we'll uh, we'll skip on that. I want a fat guy. Come on, give us a fat guy. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not completely against this one. He actually looks pretty decent. Actually, looks pretty decent. Six foot seven again. So the game is still absolutely crazy about massive people. Hey, Mohammed. That's the problem, um, new gen, I thought. The problem is, as soon as you learn the meta, it's not about booking the people you want to see in matches anymore. It's about booking the, um, it's about booking what works. So you're not booking your favourites against each other. You're booking the Bruiser versus the Fighter or, or Butch versus Cassidy. This guy's got like a, um, I reckon this guy could be from Brazil, with the colour scheme. What do we think of this bad boy? Are we skipping this one or are we sticking with this bad boy? He could be, uh, yeah. Butch. <laughs> Good old Butch. Oh, I, I feel so bad. For, well, I don't feel bad for him. I mean, at the end, it, it's, he's on the main roster, I suppose. He's on national television, so it's, um, yeah, it's not all bad, I suppose, for him. But yeah, the name's a bit unfortunate. The Butcher Weight. <laughs> uh, is it, are we going past this one then? Yeah, okay. Skip this bad boy. Hiya, Jay. Ooh, okay. I'm um, not quite sure about the green eyes, but apart from that, again, six foot four, super heavyweight. The game loves big people, doesn't it? Okay, so it doesn't matter. As long as you level up the feud, it doesn't matter. But if you're just doing like a random match, you have to pick the, the good versus the good. Okay. Alright, so what do we think of um, this guy? I mean, maybe we could uh, change the eyes. Gunther versus Butch. 
New gem. Was that this one or the last one? You want to keep this one? I mean, this one could work. He's a... He's a, he's a decent... I mean, maybe change the eyes or maybe they change the scar on his face, but... Are we changing anything? Are we just going to keep him as he is? I suppose that's the point of randomising it. Anyway, keep it as it is. Any name suggestions for this bad boy as well? How do you get a picture now then? Personal information. Um, custom portraits. Menu screen pose. Okay. I think that should work. Crack Tainum. <laughs> yeah, it's quite sad that I didn't Mohammed. Um, he's had a bit of a difficult life, honey. Crack Panther. Cracked in America. <laughs> Any other names? Are we actually going to go with Cracked in America? Well, it looks like we're going with those then. Which one tickles you pickle more? Crack Sparrow? Yeah, they're really good. It's just um, it's just difficult to uh, to get them all in place, I think, isn't it? Colombian Gonzalez. I love the way that we always seem to end up with names that start with a nationality. <laughs> Mongolian Beef. The Tonga Kid. By the way, it's going to end up with something with a crack in it by the looks of it, isn't it? Crack Gonzalez. The Yellow Meanie. <laughs> yellow Meanie is quite good. I like that. Crack Sparrow. Is it going to end up being Crack Sparrow, isn't it? Oh my god. How far can I go? Ah, okay. Drag Sparrow. Hello, Nautilius and uh, Josiah. Crack Sparrow. How do we end up with Crack Sparrow? All right, let me add him on. I'm going to be adding everyone onto the ranking system, which is in the description down below. Crack Sparrow. He was six foot four and he weighs 280 pounds. There we go, first one's done. Crack Sparrow. The Colombian Crack Master. <laughs> ah, not too bad, Nautilius. It's my first day, really, of a full free day to do um, stuff on the game, so I'm, uh, I am blitzed out some recordings this morning. Going to stream this for two, three hours, depending on how far we get, and then um, more, more recordings later on. Right, so let me know as soon as it comes up, let me know what you think of the core. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't think this matters, does it? So if I pick this guy, for example, and randomise... Do these matter? So if I say battleware, is that viscera? It is viscera. Oh wow, viscera is a tires on it. If I do that and then randomize, I think all this changes anyway. All right. So if we do random now, we lose viscera and we get okay. Six foot eleven, four hundred and thirty-two pounds. Quite a generic looking face, but still.
There we go. Cheers, new gen. Cheers. Uh, I don't know how long that was off for. Um. I mean, you could switch it. Those colours are boring, aren't they? Should we go Leroy Gennetti? We'll go Leroy Gennetti and we'll, um, we'll use Ukrainian horse. I'm sure we'll get a Ukrainian horse. Have I changed them? I don't know I've done that. I've changed the name, uh, the colour of his attire now. Leroy Gennetti. That means we need to get another one now who's more popular and more talented and call him somebody Michaels. Right, so on the system he goes. Leroy Janetti, who is Six foot one and 198 pounds. There we go. Boom. We'll use Ukrainian horse, but I think we'll use it on a. Uh... I'm sure we can get a big, bulky Eastern European guy coming in. Hello, I have come to wrestle here. I'm thinking someone looks a bit like Miro, actually. So does this matter? This changes... some stuff. Let's go for a heavyweight technician. I might use these, like, base characters as our jobbers. You see a Ukrainian horse, maybe you're any good. Okay. That makes sense, mate. Is that Daniel Bryan? No, it's not, is it? You could just do it off these attires, couldn't you? That's um, Michael Cole, isn't it? Um, so we'll use this, but again, I think we just, um... Once we randomise, we lose all that anyway, don't we? Boom, randomise. Oh, okay. This guy's looking old school Canadian. You know what, I... Mm. I'm not against this one, you know. He's got a look of the Mountie about him, with the black and red clothing, I suppose. Yeah, pos yeah, I know what you mean, uh, Jay. I think the fact you can put like cores in that it might make it a bit better in the future. Yeah, this looks like a very classic wrestler. Saying and getting the Canadian gist, Canadian Mountie. Yeah, it looks just like him, doesn't it? I thought, I thought you'd want to keep him Omega. We're going to go with like Mountie then, or Canadian Mountie? How do you put like screenshots of the person there? If you don't have the... Um, if you don't have the render... Because obviously these guys aren't going to have renders. How would you actually just put like a photograph of them in as their um, as their attire? Do you just do menu screen pose? A young Rick. He does look a bit like Rick Rude, actually. Yeah. What are we going to call him then? Rick Mountie? 
Rude Mountie. In, uh, that's, uh, I like that, uh, Nautilius, I must admit. I do like that as a name. Maybe we could even play that as part of the gimmick. Maybe at some point, maybe Jim Neidhart comes in or Bret Hart comes in to help him. Or I'm all up for bringing managers in as well, by the way. Whether we use real managers or maybe use fake ones, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's doable, Jay. If you can get a full... I'm waiting for a full roster to come out, but I'll definitely do an AEW version of it. Just for videos, you know. The Ravishing Mountie. I like Johnny Hart. I think, that, I think that's just... Yeah, it's a more... Yeah, let's go Johnny Hart. I feel like this guy could be one of our um, one of our main eventers, you know. I think we give him like um, Bret Hart's move set. Maybe, maybe change a couple of little bits. There's Johnny Hart. Johnny Hart. So what, what do we think we should do? Do you think we should... Um, should we create eight and then do a tournament to crown the first champion? Should we knock out, say, 16 and just do a couple of random shows to see who's what and then we'll do the champion another day? So if I now do edit, so these don't... Oh, they have. Okay, they have got... Okay, that's, that's not too bad then. Crack Sparrow, Johnny Hart and Leroy Janetti. The grandson of Bret Hart. That's pretty cool. Let's have a high flying cruiserweight wearing future clothing. Future gimp. Right, and randomize this bad boy. Whoa. Okay. Again, massive. Because this game loves people that are really tall and really, um. Yeah, really tall and really heavy. Not that heavy, though, actually. What's up, PJ? PJT, the dyslexics man's TJP. El Gimpo. Oh, we haven't got El Gimpo anymore, have we? Is this a skip or a twist or a, a fix or a whatever it is? Skipping this? He's a bit plain, isn't he? Looks like Scotty Too Hot, he's um, demented twin. All right, let's go. Ooh, this guy's got money. If Vince had this guy, he would be a very happy man. My god. My phone's ringing right now. Vince is calling. He wants this guy. This guy is pure money. Gimp the pimp. <laughs> nah, this, this guy is pure money. Yeah, uh, that's the problem. I've done it now, and you some There we go. There he is. You can see him now. Surely this 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 is gonna be uh, this is gonna be like our Brock Lesnar, maybe. Big bulky powerhouse. Alexandra. Yeah, we got to keep this bad boy, haven't we?
Oh, Arsenal have scored again. Oh, I bet you're happy, uh, Mohammed, aren't you? Kalami Bologna. Where the hell did you get that name from? All right, let me just make one uh, amendment. Copy a tire over to here. And then in here, edit a tire. And we will remove the jacket for in ring. He looks like Cody Rhodes. Do you look like Cody Rhodes? <laughs> Is it just me? Or does he have a hint of Cody Rhodes to him? I must admit, I, I do like Kalami Bologna, and I don't know why. Is that just a FIFA player, uh, PJ? That sounds like a FIFA player to me. Mani Olasabed. Olas. Oh, I can't even do it. James Clearwater. So many good names here, you know. So many good names. Anyone want to come to a consensus in the in the chat? Again, I feel like this is going to be another one that's going to be involved in our main event picture. Yeah, we'll definitely keep him. Give him the crossroads. Uh, name information. Bologna Roads. <laughs> Bologna Roads sounds like some sort of dodgy Italian recipe. Kalami Roads. Like Kalami Roads. Mix the two together. Bologna Roads it is. Balog. Nah. Roads. Oh, about that. Roads. Boom. We'll do that. Um, and he goes on the rankings. Bologna. Roads. He is six foot eleven, three hundred and six pounds. And he is in. Yeah, it works, that one, I think. Uh, also, have a think about move sets and that for these people. Um, at the moment, we'll just copy somebody's move set onto them. And then as we go on, we can sort of adapt that as we want to. So that's four. If we knock out another four, then we can do a, a tournament to crown the first champion. Even though we don't actually have a championship yet, maybe I can steal one offline. Um, this doesn't... I don't know why I keep changing this. It does not matter. It does not matter at all. Okay. Right. And randomize. Holy shit. Okay, we've just found our dead man. Not quite sure about the weight only being 273 pounds, but still. So he's got a look of like a Kratos or something like that about him, hasn't he? What do we think of this bad boy? I could bring create a championship. I could bring the old uh, my logo onto it, couldn't I? Really? That might take me a bit of time. Though we'll just uh, use a temporary one for now. We're we keeping that. I think we should keep this one. It's gonna be like one of our scary powerhouses. Yeah, we're keeping this guy. Seven foot two. He's the tallest guy we've got so far. My first thought of name was Kratos, but. Uh, Oh, yeah. Kratos Starks. 
Uh, personal information. What does performance mean? Oh, this is just like taunts, victory, signature. Well, you can do it in here. Oh! Is it randomizing their moveset as well then? I know these are the choices I've got to pick from. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't even know this was a thing, to be honest. Let's go Batista Bomb. Signature maneuver. It's a wicked stepsister. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Did not even. Oh, I didn't save it, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. It's news to me. Giant Olympus. Oh, that is actually pretty good. I like that. From Athens, Greece. Giant. Olympus. I'm liking this guy. I think there's a few actually so far that I'm very, very happy with. Um, let's boo him. And hometown. Syria. Greece. Athens. Um, so, Jai... Olympus. Seven foot two. 273 pounds. He's actually lighter. He's the second lightest person in the entire roster, but that doesn't really matter. You can't, the actual weight itself doesn't really make much difference, does it? Ah, okay, so based on the class, it gives a selection of maneuvers. Okay. So that initial screen is important then. That's fine. Because I said, we'll, we'll, we'll redo the movesets anyway when we, uh, when we go forward. So that's, is that five now, I think? Jesus! I think that's five people we've got in the roster now, so three more, and then we'll see how they act in the ring. Um, what I think we probably should do this time round, let's go heavyweight um, striker. I think what we should do this time round, we did discuss it last time, didn't we? We should, um, we should keep everyone the exact same rating. And then depending on how well they do or how much we like them, we can adjust those ratings moving forward. <laughs> okay. It's not it's not terrible. Not terrible. What do we think? Um Bring some triple A into this. Apologies for the noise, I'm pouring myself a drink. Yeah, they'll have default movesets apart from the signatures and that that we change. I believe. But like I said, I think what we'll do is we'll change... We'll change all the movesets, we'll just put them onto somebody else's for now. Um, and then we can just adapt. Maybe finishes and that if we want to. We're skipping this one. Oh, okay. El Gimpo Jr. <laughs> El Spartacus. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way of doing it, Nugent. Yeah, as when people do that, yeah. I like El Spartacus. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we can sort of do it that way. Either that or we could just do it at the end of... Um, Maybe if we do each stream, if we do four episodes and a pay-per-view in each stream, and then after the pay-per-view we can adapt people up and down as we believe they should be. Um, El Hogan. El Spartacus. Is Spartacus... Spartacus, no, Spartacus is Roman, isn't it? Roman mythology. 
I think so. We will find a Ukrainian horse, I promise, new gem, but we need to find somebody whose attire is blue and yellow, I think. Six foot ten, three forty five. Um six foot ten, three forty five. L Spart Spartacus. Angry Lucha. That uh, one second. That's the wrong page. There we go. Right. So we uh, that's six now, I think six. Yeah. So two more, I think, to do a tournament. Unless you want to go a little bit longer and um, give ourselves a few options. Depends what people fancy. I mean, we could give ourselves a couple more options and then just pick our eight favourites to go into the tournament. Analytics, ana analytics, analytics, dooby dooby doo. Right, randomize that man. Ooh. Okay. Um, I like it. Maybe. Obviously, I don't know. Would we take the. Ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. Let me have a look and see if that's what I think it is, right? I can't look properly, can I? Is that actually. Has the glasses actually like pushed his hair in there? Or is that just part of the haircut? Yeah, we should have some cruiserweight, shouldn't we? I mean, we could just do it in chunks, I suppose, man. But we could do eight heavyweights and do a heavyweight championship tournament. Then we could do eight and just pick cruiserweights and then eight women. And then we're going to need to think about tag teams as well. So we need to think about people we've already got created and other ones that can go with them. Johnny Bravo. It does look a bit like Johnny Bravo, doesn't it? Looks like Dalton Castle to me. That's just the thing about the eye, the, the eye thing, though, isn't it? About Dalton Bravo. I mean, can I actually change weight? Is that something I can adapt? Oh, that's not very good, Josiah. It's a fun game. Um, body. Body type. Oh, I, I can change the body type. Okay, so we can just put people into whatever body we think they should be in. If I drop this guy down to... That's uh, six foot two. Is that better suited? Is that new gen? We had one earlier, uh, Tom, that was like seven foot five. I'm pretty sure that was um, that was Omega. Okay, so we know it's pretty easier. The masked vice. Uh. You guys have a think and see what you think is the best, um, the best name. He's got two different pairs of glasses on together. I think he has got two different pairs of glasses on, you know. Yeah, he's got the thing on and then he's got the glasses on as well. Okay, I'm going to remove the glasses. But leave that on. And then remove the jacket for in-ring as well. That is pretty cool. The Omega Man. I'm, I'm going to name him then. 
Dalton. Space. Bravo. So you can't amend the weights in that now yourself, so you have to just use basically... I mean, that's that makes sense, because I mean, it means the body type actually means something now. Dalton Bravo, who is... 6 foot 2 and 250 pounds. Right. <laughs> I don't think I can use that one, uh, new gen. Right. And this will be the eighth one then. So do you want to finish it for now and then do the tournament and then we'll do some more afterwards? Or do you want to make a few extra and we'll pick our favourite ten for the tournament? It's up to what you guys want to see. Let me know. Let me know now actually because it's going to take me 47 seconds to see what you've written anyway. Right. Number eight. Hmm. Okay. Get a pretty old school looking core. Bit of a powerhouse. Six foot two. 285 pounds. I quite like him actually. Do the torment with these eight? Okay. So this is the final one we're picking for now then. Let me just do something quickly, just see if this works. Um, we'll have to just throw some movesets on them all, and then we'll do the tournament. Um, edit attire. Clothing. Theme. Edit. I'll skip that one? Okay. Ooh. Oh, you can randomise the colour. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm just faffing, I apologize. Um, okay, randomize again. <laughs> oh my god. The worst thing is, I know he's gonna get picked, isn't he? That's the worst thing. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I just can't. What do we think of this guy? What do we freaking think? What do we freaking think of this bad boy? Cabbage top? You want this to be Ukrainian horse? I mean, I don't know if it's because I, I am, I've met quite a few Ukrainians, living in the UK, you do. Um, but they are all like big butch guys, a bit like Rusev. Van boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good old van boy. Oh my god, this guy. These three, are we keeping this guy then, are we? I do like Cabbage Top as well, though, actually, as a name. such a weird, weird thing, isn't it? We're keeping this one, I'm assuming, then. No one said skip yet. He's six foot seven, for God's sake. Okay. I'm making an executive decision. I went South African there for a second. If we are keeping this guy, I am going to reduce his height. He is going to be a bit more of a cruiserweight. Um, body type. Body type Finn. How do you change height, then? I don't even know how to change it, to be honest. I've got one keep and one skip. I don't know how to change height on this game. So not in body at all then. Body type would be in there, wouldn't it? Is there... Hmm. 
No, they all stay the same. Uh, they all stay the same height. Ah, height is square. Okay. I see. Oh, his weight drops with height as well. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> We can do, Jay, yeah. So we can do, actually. Once we've got a big enough roster, we could do this as GM mode. I've got two keeps, two skips. I mean, now he's smaller. I think he looks a lot more realistic. I can't imagine him being a main event star for us, but maybe someone... Uh, maybe someone that could be utilised as more of a job in situation. Uh, new gem, Mohammed. What do you think, Omega? We keeping this one, or we skipping this one? I mean, this is not going to be our fixed roster. Well, it will be our fixed roster for now, but we can obviously amend as we go along. We can take people out. We can bring new people in. We can do that sort of stuff. So it's definitely stuff we can do moving forward. It's not going to be for definite. I got another skip. Is new gen? Is that new gen saying keep? This one's really splitting the people. Mohammed saying skip. I think I might have more skips here than than keeps. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will keep it, but we'll make another one for the tournament. We won't use this one for the tournament for now. Um. Okay, we'll just keep him as a non-named character for now, and we'll come back to it once we've had some time to think. So yeah, we'll leave that to one side for now, and we'll create another one. So we can still use this guy. Eventually. Got some bizarre looking things on this game, aren't there? He's still around, Otilis. We'll, we'll definitely get some use out of it, I think. But uh, for the actual championship tournament we're about to go for, let's um, go with someone else who's a bit more... Uh... That, that one really split split the people, that one. All right, here we go. Let's see what Randomize gives us. Um, okay. I mean, Brian Cage has seen better days, hasn't he? I don't think that one's going to go ahead, is it? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I think that one's a bit of a... Uh... Okay. I'll tell you what, I like this one. A lot of very old school cores coming out. Obviously, this guy is rocking Earthquake's attire. Looks. A... My, my initial first thought was Crush. But, of course, he's rocking um, the attire of... Uh... Of Earthquake, just in a different colour scheme. Oh, somebody's created Bron Brecker now for the new game. Is that this one, Mohammed? You just said skip on, or... Well, I'm getting skips on this one, then, am I? Okay. I thought this one might be more popular, this one, but okay, we'll go for a skip. Oh, I've got a keep from Omega. We're two to one on this one at the moment. I think if, if Mohammed was talking about this one to skip. I mean, okay, we got three skips now. Okay, let's go to the next one. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Actually, I quite liked. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Puerto Rican. Got a hint of Rocky Romero about him. Oh, too late, Mohammed. <laughs> I'm, I'm delayed. I didn't see your comment until after I'd gone through two more cores. What are we thinking of um, this geezer? I quite like that one. Uh, yeah, this Puerto Rican guy. Is he sticking or are we twisting? Get your votes in, quickly. Puerto Rican Jones, what are we thinking?
You shoot to keep her. New gem with a skip. 1-0 to the skip crew. Tom likes it. Nautilius thinks we should keep it. Tom thinks we should keep it. Okay. The Latin Marty McFly. <laughs> Marty McFly, eh? It looks like he's got a bit of a gut on him. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. He's got a bit of a gut on him. Um, Attire. See, this is a problem. I've just noticed that... Yeah, it keeps that as the entrance attire, which must be a bug with the game, I would imagine. So we have to keep ch copying them over. I think maybe just take the jacket off for matches, but leave it on for entrances. He's got a bit of a gut on him, hasn't he? Martino Macosfly. Yeah, he does the trick, doesn't he? I mean, I wouldn't be completely. Let me just let me just feel like shits and giggles here. Let me completely. Oh my god, some of these masks are cool, aren't they? I like that one. I've always liked that mask. There's the Phantom. The Phantom of the Opera. I mean, can a mask work on this guy? I mean, what masks are there? I've never seen that one before. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's the Undertaker one, isn't it? Actually, not. that suits him slightly. Oh, there are some new masks on this year game, then, is there? There's this one, which is... That's not terrible, either. Hey, Carpet! Yeah, lots of... I've not seen some of these masks before. So there's obviously quite a few new ones on this year's game. Oh, there he is. The legend. Elmago Jr. and Elmago. Liger Mask. Oh, you mean give him the Liger Mask. I thought that was going to be his name then. Uh, where is Liger's Mask? Oh, it's... Um, oh, which one is it? Oh. Apologies. Punch the microphone. Uh, which one's Liger's Mask? I can't even tell which one it is from here. Because you have to, um, you have to put the horns that on yourself. So you have to give him the mask. Something like, um, like that. And then. Don't change the materials. Then you have to go... Is it head accessories? Yeah, and then you can go for... Where's Liger? Where is Liger's one? How is... There's nothing can attach in that at all. Um, is that it? Oh, so Elmago and Elmago Jr. are actually on the game, but you just can't get them. Oh, we could definitely have some sort of demon character at some point. That'd be pretty cool. Got white ram. Oh, we've got little ram horns and big ram horns this year. What do you think? Should we just should we not put a mask on, or do we put a mask on? Or to just leave this guy as he is as some sort of... I feel this guy being like a brawler with uh, maybe a submission, like a choke submission maybe. The Sombra. 
Uh, mask designs. Oh, they've come back to this sort of thing now, have they then? La Sombra Junior. We think a mask or no mask? That's actually not too bad, is it? His eyes are too big, aren't they? The eye holes, even. Is that a lot of difference? I don't know if anyone else has gone through it yet more than once on my rise, but I'm assuming there's lots of different stories you can go through then, is there? Oh, you say mask just after I take it off. <laughs> Um Okay, I think I'd, I'd, if there's replayability, I think I'd enjoy it. I mean, if it's going to be the same stories every time, I might get a bit annoyed with it. Should we give him the uh, Max Moon mask? <laughs> can make a randomized colors it's not bad oh my all oh, the whole theme there's my random it just goes the same colors To there, your sausage. Oh, I'm making such a mess of it. Oh no, no, hang on, 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 hang on. Right, attire, that one, copy to there. And then just, I mean, we haven't got this on anybody else, but let's have a, um, Let's have a different colour attire for this one. Let's have two different alternative attires. Why is it not randomising anymore? Okay, I have to change myself then. Edit, let's go for a blue version with I don't know, some um, Let's go with some pink, no? Blue and pink works actually, yeah. There you go, he's got two different attires now then. We're going then, uh, name wise, we're going to La Sombra Junior, will we? There you go, the first person's actually got two attires now as well. Good mix and match. Hey, it's me, La Sombra Junior. And Andrade never even knew he had a child, but now he has. Andrade al idolo. Right, there we go. That is nine. Well, that's our eight created wrestlers now. So, okay, 5 foot 8, 168. Um, 5 foot 8, 168. La Sombra Junior. Okay. 
so we're just going to give them uh, move sets now. Has anybody got any ideas for move sets you want, or should I just quickly go through and throw some on? Um, based on the looks, obviously, we're going to try and match things up. I think Lasombra Jr., we're looking at one of the cruiserweights, either Ray or someone like that. But, um, right, move set. Yep, custom superstar. Right, so we have got uh, Bologna Rhodes, the super heavyweight. Okay. So it's these eight are the ones we're doing move sets for, and then we'll do the tournament. So, um, Bologna Rhodes, for some reason, is the lowest rated out of everyone, but um, copy from. I mean, I I'm thinking this guy, we just want to go for a powerhouse, so I'm thinking this guy should be Brock. No, Brawn, actually. We'll go, we'll go with Brawn. There might actually be one, actually, yeah. We'll go with Brawn and we'll take away the attributes so he's going to keep the attributes he's currently got. Since a move that was height restricted. Okay. Yeah, Leroy Janetti needs a Shawn Michaels. I think. Um, who else is easy? I think Giant Olympus is going to be easy. We'll copy from... Again, it's got to be another powerhouse. I'm thinking... I'm thinking The Undertale. Well, let's, let's put Kane. Kane seems... Where is Kane? There he is. Remove attributes. Beautiful. Save that. Um, we said with this already we wanted to put Bret Hart's moveset on there. Because he is part of the Hart family. Lovely. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I see what you mean, Omega. So my brain wasn't working there for a second. Um, Shawn Michaels. Where is Shawn's? Where's Shawn Michaels' moveset? Shawn Michaels is in the game, isn't he? Does Shawn Michaels not have a moveset? Am I missing this somehow? Um. Okay. Why is no Shawn Michaels moveset? I don't quite understand that one. Yeah, I've been watching it in the background, Mohammed. Pretty easy win. I think you're going to get fourth place this year, I think, aren't you? La Sombra, Eddie Guerrero. That's not a bad shout. My only worry is... Oh, is it going to be the same with Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels is on the game, isn't he? Have I not... I haven't unlocked Eddie Guerrero yet, so I don't think I can use Eddie Guerrero's moveset at the moment. I need to go away and do that at some point, so we're going to have to use somebody else's at the moment. Yeah, I, you sure Michaels has to be unlocked, does he? Okay. Um, let's give him somebody similar to Shawn Michaels for now, then. Let's give him AJ Styles, and then I will, um, when we unlock Shawn Michaels. What I can do now, though, is do moves, um, finishers, in-ring, and we can go with the... Sweet chin music. And again, the sweet chin music. I've been too addicted to playing my faction, to be honest with you, when I've not been streaming or recording. A showcase stream. Oh, God. I mean, I'm doing pretty well on my faction now, to be honest. So I've done, done, done... Right, let's do La Sombra. Man City's getting the league easy. Um, so we haven't got Eddie yet, so I'm going to give him... Oh, we said Sin Cara, didn't we? Okay. Sin Cara's on the game, is he? Sin Cara's not on the game. Um... Grand Matalik. Oh, use Kalisto, yeah, okay. I've read that now. Okay, Kalisto. Not the attributes. 
And then what I will do though is I'll change his finisher to the Frog Splash. Get the best of both worlds. And again. I think Man City will get it just because they've got so much more depth in the squad. I think they can uh, afford to play all these games. Whereas Liverpool, I don't think they've got much depth and I think they'll struggle eventually. When the games start um, piling up. Oh, I like that one. I think, Carpet, to be honest, I think it's all down to that one match between Man City and um, Liverpool. Um, who was this? This was um, El Spartacus. So he's a more bulky Mexican. Um, hmm. Humberto Carrillo? Oh, Santos Escobar, maybe. Let's go Santos Escobar for now. So the other two left are Dalton Bravo, who I think is quite a fancy... quite a fancy boy. So who's a bit of a show-off? Ric Flair is a bit of a show-off. Um... Sami Zayn, X Pac, Andrew Gaza. Let's go with that. Mm, actually, no, because he's. Uh, yeah, no, that's right, yeah, that's fine, yeah. I got mixed up then, I thought I was doing somebody else. Okay, and then the last one is Crack Sparrow. Not quite sure what to do with Crack Sparrow, to be honest. Might just, like, randomly go through without looking. Our truth, okay. We'll go with Reckoning. Reckoning? No, actually Reckoning is uh, Mia Yim, isn't it? Um, Crack Sparrow, Roderick Strong. There we go. Boom and boom, there we go. All eight movesets are done. Am I not able to access online? I don't think I am on this, on my second account, am I not? Oh, okay. I do agree to these terms. Am I out online now? Uh, it will be, Mike, yeah. Maybe not today. Um, really, not till you, what? Do you live in Wolverhampton or Tilius then? Because if you do, then you are not far away from me at all. Uh, yeah, Mike, it will be a universe moving forward. But at the moment, we're just going to crown the first champion and that sort of stuff. No championship. Should we put a... What arena should we go for? We need to make all of this as well. I'll probably do all this off camera just to have the, the bits and bobs done. Make championships and that sort of stuff. Um, oh, this is a different... I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to unlock... Because this is a separate account. So I'm going to have to unlock all of the wrestlers on both accounts. Oh, God. Oh, you're not far away from me, Nautilius, at all, then. I'm... Um, I'm Kanak Way, if that means anything to you. Um, why am I spending so much time on this? Let's just bloody pick one at random. I want to go bash at the beach 96. Match type. Can I randomise? Oh, I can randomise. No, actually, let's not randomise because that could really cause problems. Damage retention will have off just to give everyone a fair chance. And then how are we going to do this then? Shall I randomise it? Okay, let's, let's do... Let me just get a... Random number generator one to eight. 
So match one is number four versus number two. Okay. Next match is number one versus number seven. There isn't a seven now, is there? We're down to five. Okay. Number two. Ooh. Clash of two big men there. Next up is going to be three versus one. So one versus three. Who would have been you? Okay. And then finally, well, there's only two left, isn't there? Johnny Hart versus Leroy Janetti. There we go. All right. So this is... Boom, our setup. This is our tournament. This will crown our first champion. We don't actually have a championship yet. I'm going to have to create that. Um, but here we go then. El Spartacus versus Crack Sparrow to start things off. Uh, we're not going to play. We are going to. What does finisher last mean? Oh, fast. <laughs> finisher normal. We don't have entrances on. Special. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go, 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 go. I've drunk two big bottles of Pepsi Max today. That's not good for you, is it? It's not good at all. Is the music still in the background? I can't really hear anything. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Can you hear the music, or is it too quiet for you guys? I thought this is some funky, royalty-free jazz in the background. So this is Crack Sparrow versus El Spartacus. I've, oh, I've not changed the settings by the looks of it, so we've still got the names at the bottom. I can, can I pop out and change that? I don't know. Oh, nice. Crack Sparrow with a big knee in the face, going for the early pin. How long have you been gone, Nugent? I can't remember. Did you miss... Have you missed all the cores? Have you missed any of the cores? We just do everyone move sets and come into the tournament now. So who else... Who's the early favourites then? So Nugen wants Crack Sparrow to win. I'm leaning towards Bologna just because he looks cool. At the moment, it is El Spartacus dominating the match, really. Dropping the boot right in the, the head of the old uh, Spartacus. It's, it's really dominant, really. Do we want to give a reward for this, then? Do we want to say... Oh, Johnny Hart's a good shout, actually, is, yeah. Um, do we want to say that maybe the winner of the tournament will be given... Plus five? Maybe? Plus five to their ratings? Yeah, I actually like the idea of Johnny Hart as well, to be honest. We always seem to find some good old school style wrestlers, don't we? As older uh, El Spartacus here at the top. Oh, that would have killed him with that splash, I tell you. So yeah, the fun thing about um, this sort of universe mode is we do have full control. We can change anything. We can change attires. We could create stables and change the attire to suit the table. We could bring in managers. I'm happy to bring real wrestlers in as like special attraction matches, but not like consistent. Um, obviously, we can add. We can take away. We can do some sort of like NXT at some point tournament. So this is very open. The referee's winning the entire thing. Oh, nice. El Spartacus has really turned this one around now and drops another big leg drop. Uh, the last one new gen was... Oh, it's Max Moon more or less, isn't it?
Nice crack able to break free. We go for a power slam of his own. That's a big man to power slam. We could also do injuries now as well. I was tempted to do um, like a lucky wheel. Like I've seen uh, in the past some people do it where you have like um, you have a list of all the people on the roster and you have a list of things that could happen. So you could say spin the wheel and it brings up El Spartacus. Spin the wheel and it says um, you take an injury to the arm, lose 10 points on arm durability. Or you could have uh, you spend a lot of time in the gym plus five to your upper body and or your arm and your leg strength. So there's stuff like that we could do as well, using the random wheel to really help us to find things as they go forward. Yeah, I'll be up for that, Omega. Some sort of old school manager, maybe, that... I don't know, maybe they could be like a, like a, a manager of a stable or whether it'd just be the individual person, I'm not sure. But I've been trying to figure out, I don't know if anyone's played more of this game than me, do the managers actually have much of an impact? Because I'm not seeing a ton today. Uh, I've done a, quite a few uh, matches with managers now, and I don't see them really doing too much. El Spartacus here, stalking, taking Crack Sparrow up on the shoulders and drops him down. There's the pin. And Crack Sparrow's out. That's what you get, new gen. That's what you get for having favourites. They just let you down. There we go. El Spartacus moves through. Crack Sparrow's out. All right, let's move on. Right, next up is the Bologna, the Bologna, Bologna Rhodes versus Giant Olympus. Two of the big men we have here. So many buttons to press. Yeah, I'm hoping for Bologna as well, which probably means that he's going to lose, to be honest. We all know what happens whenever I pick someone as a favourite. They get demolished pretty quickly. There we go. Two of the biggest men in the tournament here as well. Both incredibly tall. Oh, I forgot to give Bologna Rhodes the crossroads as a finisher, didn't we? He's going up to the top, which is a very risky manoeuvre, and it did not pay off at all. And Olympus now with a neck breaker. Yeah, which, I, I don't know, Terence, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. I quite like the Spartacus. 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 I'm Spartacus. Is it Roman or is it... It is Roman, isn't it? It's not Greek. Or is it Greek? I don't freak in there. Remember that we want to look at some tag teams and that as well? Yeah, the Malachi Black Claw is pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, we'll we'll look at tag teams as well in the future. Again, we can adapt attires should we need to. If we find two people we think link well together, I do think that Leroy Janetti should get himself a Shawn Michaels, somebody who's just going to outshadow him at all turns. And again, that's what we can do because it's our own universe mode of our own created cause. We can make and break tag teams as we go along. Which shows up. I'm Spartacus. Is he out? Giant Olympus is hammering Bologna here. Are ready, new gen?
Olympus. Flapjack. New Gen, you're not allowed to have favourites because this is what happens. There's the claw. Is that Bologna down? No. Bologna survives. And it's going to gorilla press Olympus above his head and drops him flat. Wow. Oh, he's in your Discord server, is he? I'm actually in your Discord server at the moment because I saw I had a notification. That's because you keep at everyone in. Who is it there, Nugent? Olympus dropping Bologna Roads. This is a real battle of the Goliaths. Look at that spine buster by Bologna. Uh, I think so, but... I mean, I can do it in here, can't I? Presentation. I didn't want to come out of the... Um... I suppose I just have to do it in each match individually, I suppose, yeah. I don't know if you come out of the tournament. It does save the tournament you come out of it, doesn't it? But Gecko does cause. Has he done anyone else yet? Or is that just the only one he's done? Well, that was a good looking submission there. Those kicks there by... Problem is, that's how I remember their names. Oh, he was going chokeslam there, money. He was going chokeslam. It was avoided. Big strikes in the face by Bologna Rhodes. He gets a boot, though. By Giant Olympus. That's headbutt in the spine. And then launched him across the ring. Wow. It's slap in the back of the neck. And he's up. And he's power slammed down. There we go. Yeah, it's true. I think I did see it earlier. I did see a manager have an effect, but I think it's a lot more subtle this year. Oh, he's going Tombstone. Boom. Bologna Rhodes could be done and dusted here. Tombstone by Giant Olympus. One, two... And no, he's out. He's fine. Okay. Yeah, I noticed it earlier where there was a pin that was um, disrupted. And I think the referee was distracted, but you just don't see it as much now. Giant Olympus choke slams him. One, two, and three. Giant Olympus. New gen, stop picking favorites, mate. It's not helping you out at all. Giant Olympus defeats... Um, Bologna Roads. And we move on to our next first round match. Ooh, someone's made a pretty good Kota Ibushi, actually. That'd be nice, because I don't think we had a decent Kota Ibushi the whole way through last year's game. Uh, Dalton Bravo versus La Sombra Jr. is next up. Dalton Bravo, so did I say Dalton Castle? Um, where are we? Community creations, there we go. Right, here we go then. Oh, let's get rid of those bars again. Those pesky bars. I'll remember to change this next time, I promise. Um, so it's because it's a new account that I've not played on before, that's why. Right, there we go. 
I think this is the one you missed, new gen. Well, new gen's just ruined it now. La Sombra Junior for the win. Dalton needs some boys, doesn't he? <laughs> well, that's the dodgiest thing I've said today. Well, I mean, I think it's the dodgiest thing I've said today. I mean, I can't promise that's the truth, to be honest. So, do you guys hear the music in the background, or...? Kind of, I'm just listening to music myself then at the moment. I mean, I can't promise that's the truth to be honest. I'm just listening to random music myself then. No one else can hear it. <laughs> so, do you guys hear the music in the background or. I'm just listening to this random, like, royalty free jazz. Right, I've turned it up a little bit. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I think it's just finished, is it? No. Was a new song starting? So Dalton trying to go for the power bomb. La Sombra Junior kicks out. Yeah, so I said it's supposed to be like a little background thing in case, because there's no noise, it's just like the consistent boredom of my voice. He does look like one of the boys, yeah. I turned it up a tiny bit, let me know if it makes, if it's too loud now. Nice crossbody. Don't want heading up top, but La Sombra Jr. is there and doesn't get him though. He gets a double axe handle in the face. So the first championship in SEW is up over at Grabs here. As Dalton stalking. Looking for a running drop kick in the back and completely missed. It's a bit glitchy there, isn't it? He's not actually connecting with them kicks. There's the pin. I don't think it's going to be enough. No, it's not. La Sombra Junior gets back up to his feet. This has been pretty one-sided so far. Dalton has dominated. I'm assuming you've got to get one right eventually, Nugent, haven't you, I suppose? Butterfly into the backbreaker. I thought he was going to go for the pin there, but no. Kick in the face. Looking again for the drop kick in the head. Again misses. Up on the shoulders now, and it's very one sided, isn't it? Let's face it. Very, very one sided. Uh, yeah, it was good, Jay. I mean, it's, um... I'll be honest, I've not been a fan of Jeff Hardy for quite some time. It was nice to see him back. I don't want to see him involved in main events or anything like that. I think as a tag team, uh, it would be nice to see him and Matt back together for a bit. But I must admit, I find it a bit hard to watch him these days. Yeah. Yeah, that must have been awkward between them two. Nice. All of a sudden, La Sombra Jr. is back in this. He's up on top. He's gone frog splash. Oh no, new gen. 
<laughs> Newton, man! What is wrong with you? La Sombra Jr. gets the win over Dalton Bravo. Ah, oh, Newton, you do make me laugh, I tell you. Well, there we go. La Sombra Jr. is into the second round. And the final first round match then is Johnny Hart versus Leroy Jane. Or Janetti to those. In the know. And uh, let's go then. Go on, new gen. Who are you going for now then? Who are you going for now then, new gen? Right, that's uh, options. Yeah. New gen, go for Leroy Janetti. Go for Leroy Janetti, new gen. I mean, nothing's a reach at the moment because everyone's roughly the same stats. So, I mean, yeah, it's not completely out of the question. Is this Leroy's third time being in a universe? I think Leroy's doing well, actually. I'll be honest, Nuj. I think, um, no, I think I, I, I wanted the Sombra to win the last match, but apart from that, I think I've been on the same side as you. I would like Johnny Hart to win this one because I think he's a really cool call for us to have as a champion. He's a nice, slow, technical beast. With the submission finish and that sort of stuff, I think he'll be a really good option as a potential champion to lead the line moving forward maybe we can have our own heart family if we can get some more Canadians we can create the tag team we can create everything maybe even have a manager for the heart family make this a heel group I mean if Marty Gennetti is going to have Shawn Michaels' moveset then this is technically Brett versus Michaels Technically. If you look at it that way. Yeah, new gen. Can you pick 54 numbers, please? And I'll take the six that are left. <laughs> Give me a lottery ticket. I've lost audio. Oh, are we back? Yeah, the hair physics is still not ideal, is it? Nice takedown. Alright, that's fine. I lost a little bit of audio there for a second, but everything else is working. And oh! Leroy almost. So I'm going to take the uh, jump off. I'm getting pretty warm in here now. Oh, stop. They did say the hair physics have been greatly improved in this year's game, but I think Leroy's got this, you know. Leroy has it. Okay. You can think as well at the moment, by the way, about feuds. I mean, I'm considering what happens if um, 
if Jody Hart attacks Leroy Jannetty now on our first show. You know, just really demolishes him for knocking him out of this tournament. But there we go, though. Leroy Jannetty is victorious and moves through to round number two. Yeah, it does look very difficult. Uh, apparently, we're struggling. No, we are struggling. Nope, we're back. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Right, El Spartacus versus Giant Olympus is the first semi-final match. And then La Sombra versus uh, Leroy Giannetti. Oh, Leroy Giannetti. Oh, Leroy Giannetti. Right, so yeah, like I said, think about um, potential feuds and that sort of stuff. God, it is warm. I'm going to have to open the window as well. Get a bit of cold air in here. Ooh, that's better. I can feel myself cooling down already. Here we go. Giant Olympus versus... Oh, I see what you mean. I spelt it wrong. Not I, not I said it wrong. I see what you mean now. That's how he spells it. That, that's his way of spelling it. Yeah? Am I going to get away with that? No? Okay. All right, remind me. We'll change it after this tournament then. Nice. Big double foot stomp right in the face. Dropping his body weight across the back as well. Neck breaker. It's looking like Giant Limpus is, um, is looking like a possible favourite here. Well, let's wait until a new gen thinks and then we can go the opposite way. Seems to be the best way of doing it. The Wombles of Wimbledon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice diving clothesline there. Giant. I'm still struggling with my name. Giant Olympus. There we go. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. Spartacus. Do you mean Spartacus? Yeah, okay. I tried to double check your spelling. Yeah, Lasombra Jr. would be an interesting um, first champion. So what do we think then? Do we think that we should do what I said? The winner of the tournament, as well as winning the championship, should get plus five. On their overall. Does that seem fair? So they'll be obviously slightly stronger than everyone else to start with, but that's what you get for being the champion. Big chop across the neck there. And now, El Spartacus. The winner of the tournament gets plus five. Okay, yeah. We'll, um, we'll spend the points where we think suits it. So, for example, if it's the Sombra Junior, we'll give him more high-flying stats. Or if it's... Um, Giant Spartacus here will give him some more strength stats and stuff like that. But yeah, that's how we'll do this the whole way through. We will give points based on people's um, performances. Maybe winning a championship gives you a boost. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll do... Um, I'll have to wait and see if it's going to work or not, but I'm thinking each stream should be an in-game month so we'll do maybe four free match cards and then do a pay-per-view and then after the pay-per-view we will sort of have a look and see if we want to change anything with the people maybe um change attire change stats anything like that i think that's going to be the schedule that i want to keep to it just depends how long it takes to do that in a stream 
I don't think it'll take too long, because I think we've done like 30 odd matches in streams before. And that's not going to be too many, so maybe we could even do it longer than that. Maybe four, four cards of four. Runner-up should get plus two. I agree with that. Nice crossbody. So whoever wins this match is going to at least get plus two. And now El Spartacus throttles Giant Olympus in with a choke slam. In with a pin. Is that going to be enough? One, two, and three. El Spartacus moves through. El Spartacus. El Spartacus. There we go. El Spartacus is on plus two now in the rankings. And we'll get plus two. This match doesn't matter. Okay. Can you imagine if Leroy Gennetti comes out the champion and the highest rated person in this brand by the end of the show? That'd be mad. Um, so I probably want to do that as well. I probably want to have on here... Um, overall. There we go. So I've got to put, I've put an overall thing on the... Um, on the ranking so we can see... Uh, how people are rated. So we go La Sombra versus Leroy Janetti. New Gen has said that um, Leroy is going to win the whole thing, so he's probably going to get eliminated now. El Spartacus. I hope we get some good news about Scott Hall soon. Doesn't sound great, though, does it really? Here we go then. I still can't believe the stuff that you can't get on the game is stupid. Only because, I mean, like, the people that are on the game but you can't access in any other modes. The Hangman of Esther. That means we've got to wait three years before we make him the champion. You know that, don't you, New Gen? Three in-game years before he can be champion. He has to fail the first few times. He has to get to the final here, then get beaten by our Chris Jericho. Uh, Scott Hall is... Um, he had surgery, and there were some complications from the surgery, and he had a triple heart attack. So he's currently in intensive care. Um, yeah, it happened a few hours ago. Not nice to see, is it? Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot to take the thingies off, didn't I? Apologies, apologies, apologies. <laughs> We've had 69 views. <laughs> Lol. Nice German. I'll tell you what, he's doing pretty well here, old uh, La Sombra Jr. Picks a forearm in the face. And now in with a standing moonsault. It's not a bad shout, actually, uh, new, uh, Jay. Not a bad shout at all. Oh, nice inverted Death Valley driver by Leroy. Leroy's on one now. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually, Jay. Let's drop kick in the face. And now... Oh, nice. Nice submission here by La Sombra Jr. Very nice. And now Janetti in with a backbreaker. And stamping on the arm of El Spartacus. And again, right on the arm. And again, right on the arm. <coughs> That's not El Spartacus. 
that's our good man, La Sombra Julia, who just got absolutely brutalized. I think Leroy might have this, you know. I really do think Leroy might have this. Yeah, Lucha Ultimate Warrior moveset. Yeah. And La Sombra Jr. wins. La Sombra Jr. knocking out Janetti. So our final is Spartacus versus La Sombra Jr. Uh, what part did you miss? Sorry, Nautilus. Nautilus. Nautilus, not Nautilus. Nautilus. Nautilus! Alright then. The two masked men of SEW join each other in the final. Who will walk away as the champion? Savaganda? New Jack's Jinxon again, yep. The curse of New Gen. It's the curse of New Gen. Do 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 We now are in the final of the championship tournament. And uh, Spartacus starting strongly. I oh, know, yeah. People keep bringing it up. You make one mistake and it's immortalized on the internet forever. Yeah, I'd like to see La Sombra Jr. get the win. Plus, he's the only person who's got two attires, isn't he, as well? That's pretty cool. Um, next time we do this, then, I will... Um I will create an arena for us, and I will create a championship for us as well. I think, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for after this. We shall find out. Oh, that's an advert. Okay. So our, our music finished, and there we go. Spartacus now then, dropping face first. La Sombra Jr. Remember, one of these guys will get plus two. Uh, that's the one who loses this match, and the one who wins this match will end up with a plus five. Do we want to change anything else? Do we want to give... Do we want to say the people that lost in the first round stay where they are? The people that got through to the quarterfinals and then eliminated get plus one. People that got through to... Oh, sorry. People got through to the semis and lost get plus one. The loser here gets plus two. And the winner gets plus five. Does that sound fair? And then everybody we bring in is going to be... It's, I think it's either 74 or 75 it brings them in at. So everyone we bring in will start at that and they're going to have to work their way up unless we have um, exceptional circumstances that we want them to be higher. Is he going to try and win this by... Oh no, I thought he was going to try and win it by counter, but no, he breaks the count. Spartacus is not all about winning championships by count out. Yeah, if you want to have a look at anything, by the way, of course, it is. Uh, it, there's a link in the description down below for the actual spreadsheet we're going to use for this. It's very similar to our current SEW one. Um, it's slightly different, but we can uh, add and take away as we want to. Spartacus is dominating here. Really, really dominating. Like stupidly dominating. Two. 
nice take on the outside. And uh, normally championships can't change hands on count outs, but I think when there is no current champion, we will allow it. Look at the height difference between the two. They're both back in the ring now, though. And straight away, Spartacus drops it with that. Oh, a dead eye. Kill the Sombra. We can give makeovers as well if we want, if we want to change anyone's attire. Oh my god, he's got it. He has got it, Spartacus. I'm the champion. No, I'm the champion. There we go. Oh, they disappeared on the bottom of there. Okay. Let me just delete that there then. Okay. So he's got it, old Sparty. Old Sparty has got it. He is our first champion here. He is our king of the ring. So we're going to treat him to a brand new moveset, we said, didn't we? Right. So. Let's edit him. Give him his plus five. Now Spartacus edits. Um, personal information, is that what I need? Or is it performance, isn't it? No, it's not performance. Maybe it is. I will do a bit more. I was waiting for someone to come back to me, but I've not heard of him yet, so... Um, we'll do a bit more for now if you want. Statistics? Ah, there we go, overall. So we're going to move him up to an 80 now, then. So I think probably a bit of arm power wouldn't go amiss. Um... So we're going to give him, we're going to give him um, Ultimate Warrior's um, moveset, aren't we? So we want to try and give him a bit more aggression, a bit more durability, maybe. Pin escape, more strength, I think, will go nicely. What does that put him up? 79, so we've got one more point to spend. So, um, power of his finisher and special. Okay. Okay, and I can change his class. So he's currently a striker. We want him as a high flyer or a powerhouse. I think powerhouse. Oh, sugar. Okay, well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Um. Yeah, we'll just make these few amendments then, and then we'll, maybe we can create a few more. Right, um, 79, so let's give him one extra. So a bit of aerial offense. A bit technical, there we go, so he's 80 rated now. Okie doke. Lovely jubbly, so... Our Spartacus' overall is now 80. Would you like to continue? Yes, and save the game. And then we'll change the moveset. Um, I don't know how we're going to give him... Okay, let's go with moveset. Maybe we just give him Ultimate Warrior's moveset and then give him our own signatures and finishes. So we want something that's like a little bit high flying, but not much. Right. So we're going to copy from Ultimate Warrior everything apart from attributes. Okay, you can't do all of it. That's fine. And then we will change his signature. Currently, it's the Dingo Bomber. Okay, and the military press drop. What the hell is a dingo bomber? Deep six? They got diced bread rather than sliced bread, okay. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, we want some of this, like... Hmm... I feel like something diving is an interesting way of doing it. Maybe running? A running headbutt. I like the bicycle kick, potentially. Middle rope spear? Oh my god. That's pretty cool. I like that. So you slide out the ring, come running around, and then you flatten them again. I like that, but I think for somebody else, maybe. Monsterplex. Clothesline from hell. Oh my god, it's a closed line from hell. Wish you could, like, type in this. I got corners a long way, don't I? There you go. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Use a double. Um, and then his finisher in the ultimate spot. Splash will change that. I want to go something a bit more. I want to go for some diving, maybe. Um, so from. Um, there we go. Mid rope versus. I want to do mid rope. I want to do like. Top right front. Where's dive versus grounded opponent? There we go. Corkscrew moonsault. What's realistic for a big chunky geezer? I think like a just a standard moonsault might be a a good option. I'm looking for one like a Vader one, like a. Yeah, that sort of thing. And then maybe... Springboard? Springboard flogs back? Uh, springboard swanton. Yeah, that could work. There we go. That's him done then. Um, so we also want to give plus two then to Leroy Janetti. Leroy Janetti. Right, so where are you, Leroy? There you are. Was it Leroy? No, it's not Leroy. We're gonna get plus one to Leroy Janetti, sorry, don't we? Plus one to Leroy Janetti. So he's currently a 75. So let's increase his movement speed and agility. So he gets up to a 76. Okay, getting some good stuff out of this. Let's give you a bit more stamina. 76, there we go. So Leroy Janetti is a 76. Save that. So we need to give plus one to Giant Olympus and then plus two to La Sombra Junior. Sorry, I take it away to load. Um, so, edit custom superstar. We would give plus, uh, plus two to the Sombra Junior. So he's going to move up to a 77. We're going to go with... Aerial offense. Well, that's greatly improved that. 76. And then special. Bit of finisher. Okay, a bit more. 
movement speed. There you go, 76. No, 77, isn't it? Well, he's doing pretty well for himself, then, isn't he? Oh, actually, let's... Right, let's, let's do this, because I'm going to mess this up on here. High flyer. Right, so now it's 77. So just distribute the stats a bit better, really. Um, aerial offense. Reversals. You've got good speed on those. Let's get that up. 77, there we go. Okay, that's him done. As a 77. So it's just giant Olympus, then everyone else stays as they are. Oh, giant Olympus. He's getting plus one. And I think that's all going to be in the strength department, if you ask me. Actually, new gem. Think about it. I probably should finish the stream in a second because I want to get some more recordings done. So maybe we'll finish it after this. And then my plan is to try and put in a schedule for this. So I'm thinking streaming twice a week. I'm thinking um, Cyber Sunday and Taboo Tuesday. And then the rest of the week we'll just do their other stuff. How does that sound? Statistics, right? So I want you to be a powerhouse, and then let's increase your power. Cool. That's way too high. Um, Seventy-six. There we go. Um, Seventy-six. Go. That should now leave us with the final few, which I'm not sure if they're 75s or 74s. I noticed there was a couple of um, different uh, different stats rather than being fixed. I'm going to move set. So shows me, doesn't it? Um. I've got something I want to do at 8, so I've got half an hour or so till then. Um, so, you're 74, Mr. Hart. Johnny Hart, 74. Um, Crack Sparrow is 75. Bologna Rose is 74. Dalton Bravo, 75. Okay, there we go. So all them are in there now. Uh, yeah, before I go, I'm not going to get more deeper than this now. We'll, we'll finish off for now. We'll come back and we'll do this on Tuesday, though, if you want. We'll come back on Tuesday. What I'll try and do in the meantime is I will cry or cry. I will try and create an arena and championships. For some reason, I can't get on the online system on here. So I'm going to have to try and fix that as well. Like I said, this is an alternative account, so maybe the online's a bit of a pain in the back. So I might, I might have to create my own stuff on this one, which is not an end of the world. I don't know how it really works, to be honest, but... Um, custom championships. So yeah, I'll have to create a championship. Is there like templates? Yeah, there's ten. This hasn't really changed from last year, has it? So yeah, okay then. Yeah, like I said, we'll finish there for now. I'll get those bits sorted, and then when we come back Tuesday, we can add a couple more people to the roster, um, and then maybe try and work through to the first pay per view. Like I said, my plan is to try and do one in-game month, so four weekly shows and then finish the night off with a pay-per-view um, and then every stream will just add a few extra people into the roster uh, of course we need to add some females, we need to find some tag teams as well, uh, maybe some stables but like I said we've got complete freedom over everything uh, of course there is something set up in the Discord already if you are on Discord um, you can, oh we've, we've had someone join the Discord about 15 minutes ago so thank you very much to Michael uh, yeah, anyone else wants to join the Discord, there is a special area in the Discord for this uh, where you can put in your suggestions or chat about it or see the ranking systems. There's loads of stuff you can do. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, hopefully, 
we'll see you again on Tuesday night unless anything major happens. And I'll be uploading a ton of videos as well. I've recorded quite a few this morning. And I'm going to try and record some more now. And I also want to do a GM mode play for at some point as well. But yeah, good night. Tati buys. Thank you very much for joining and helping with building the roster.